what is going on community facebook community instagram youtube what is going on today on this beautiful thursday evening night and morning for some people i'm glad that you took the time to stop by to get these jewels i'm glad you took the time to stop by and invest in yourself to get this information because to have credit is something that we definitely want to make sure that we're having peace 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 and love thank you very much for tuning in on this live uh call we're going to be uh starting here in just a second if you're just getting on this call stop everything that you're doing and invite and share your friends to this uh video before I get into this video, if you're just joining on to there, please share this live video right now. It's so simple. Hit the share button and it's going to be out. I want to make sure that everybody gets this information that I'm about to put out because I know you have some friends and family members whose credit is not good at all and they need to raise their credit. So please stay tuned. Um, lie, um, inviting some people right now. Okay, so look, let's just go ahead and get into a peace, peace, Chris. What's going on, Chris? Thank you very much for uh, for joining this call. Go ahead and share this video um, if you can. Peace, peace, peace. Greetings, 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 everyone. Greetings, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. So look, we're gonna go ahead and, and kick this real quick. If you're just going to get in there and share this video, it's real easy, right? Just share it. So look. Why is it important to have a good credit, right? Let me tell you why it's important. Because if you want to buy a house, if you want to get a good, uh, you know, if you want to get a good deal on, let's just say you want to go buy a car, right? You ever want to go buy a car and then like your monthly payments was a lot? That has to factor with a lot of different things. Your credit score. If you have a good credit score, you don't have to worry about putting a lot of money down because your credit speaks for it. If you want to go buy a house, guess what? They check in your credit for that as well. Anything that you're basically applying for and they are asking you for a social security number, best believe they are checking your credit. When you go rent a apartment and they go run your credit, they're checking to see how your credit is. Are you able to pay your bills on time? Are you able to uphold credit? So, it's very important to have credit, you guys, and good credit at that. Some people don't even have credit at all. Like they're young, they're new to the uh, to the whole thing. They don't really know how credit works. Well, let me tell you, if you're new to the credit game, get up with me, and I will teach you and show you how to accumulate credit. So let me just tell you some of the things that helped me out a lot on my credit journey. The first and foremost is credit is not a bad thing. Credit is your friend, especially if you know how to use it. Now, it can't be your, it, 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 it can unfriend you and not be your friend if you are not using credit in the right way. But credit cards are not the enemy. It's about how you use the credit cards and how you pay your bills on time. So the first and foremost that I will highly recommend everybody do, before I give you these tips, Please just go ahead and share this video. If you have not shared this video, please share this video so that this information can get out because you know somebody out there needs their, their credit score done and you know some of you on here need your credit score up. So look, the very first thing is to check your credit. Check your credit score. You should be checking your credit score at least every month because so many things can happen on your credit score that you don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? You may get charged for something that you didn't even do. Or they might not even be reporting your good behavior on your credit. So you need to always check your credit score, just like you need to always check your bank account. But that's something else. So just make sure that you're always checking your credit score. You can get a free credit score every month on annual credit scorereport.com okay so you can get a free credit card report every year so the first thing you want to do is you definitely want to make sure that you're checking your credit the next thing that you want to do is if your if your credit is not good you need to learn how to dispute 
certain things off of your credit so that we can get your credit up great and good. So if you don't know how to dispute things off your credit and you want to learn how to become financial independent and learn how to do your own credit, please get with me after this video or just comment in here, credit, uh, credit report help, and I can definitely show you how to uh, repair your credit and dispute things. Um, another good thing that you need to do is if your credit score is not good, but you know somebody whose credit score is good, they you can become they can put you on their credit and you'll become an authorized user. So what does that mean? That means if their credit is good, just by their credit being good and just by you being an authorized user, they are able to help you build your credit. Ain't that great? You could just, you know, get up with your spouse or your parents or one of your trusted friends that you know is always going to pay their credit on time and let them add you as an authorized user on their credit because that's going to build your credit in return. So the first thing we got is always make sure that you check your uh, your um, your credit score. They have credit credit karma, credit card karma. Some people like that. Some people don't like it, but it's a free service. Um, you want to do that. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you dispute anything off of your credit that needs to leave. If you need help with disputing and repairing your credit, please just comment in here, repair credit, or get with me. The next thing is you want to be added on to somebody else's account that is good with credit, right? Another good thing that you could do is paying your stuff on time. Like that's that's the most important thing is making sure that you pay your payments on time. Let's just say you go to the gas station and you get seventy dollars worth of gas. Well, make sure that you have seventy dollars in your account to go ahead and pay that off. Credit is not the enemy. The enemy is you because you don't know how to use credit. So learn how to use credit so you can make credit your friend. Another good tip is never use over 30% of your credit. Shoot, if you could do 10%, that's even better. The credit card bureau, they want to make sure that you're responsible and that you're not maxing out of your maxing your cars out. So what does that mean? Only use 30% of your credit limit. For example, let's just say you got approved for a $1,000 um credit spending limit on your new American Express credit card because I love American Express credit card. Lots of good frequent flyer miles. But let's just say you have a thousand, right? You wouldn't want to spend 500 on your card. So if you get a credit card limit and it's a thousand dollars, you don't want to spend 500 on that card because you have went over that 30%. You are at 50%. So now the credit card viewer is like, whoa, hold on. What is this person doing? Are they spending too much? Are they spending unresponsible? So you need to make sure that you pay attention to that. You only want to spend 30% of your credit card limit. 10% is our ideal and better. So let's just say you like, you know what? 30% 30 is not is, is, is not good enough for me. Well, guess what? Diversify your portfolio and mix up your portfolio and get a different credit card. But that doesn't mean shopping sprees. That means that you'll have 30% for one card and 30% for another. So if you get um, approved for $1,000 and then you get approved for $1,000 on another card, then that makes 60% of what you can use, 30% on one card and 30% on the other card. So doing all of these little things definitely, yes, yes, the FICO score. I just learned more about that score. That's the main score that they're really looking at on your credit report. So you want to make sure that your credit is good. Another thing is you have to think about it. If your credit is not good now, you're going to be passing that on to your kids. Why would you want to do your kids like that? Like, it's not their fault that you ain't get your credit up and that you jack your credit up. So don't pass it on to your children. Get this stuff fixed now. You know, this is the day and age where there's so many opportunities out there that we have to just get out of our own way, stop being scared of what we think is a scam and everything is a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. Like we just live in this scammy, scary world. Why? I don't know. So get out of your own way. 
get your credit done today get it fixed today if you don't know where to start and you don't know how to repair your credit please contact me I will show you how you can repair your own credit and you don't have to pay people to do it for you so please get with me so I'm gonna run these tips back by you again always make sure that you're checking your credit report you can go to um, credit annualcreditreport.com you also could do credit card uh, let me put this in here credit uh, credit karma credit karma is very good with checking your um, your credit um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to see if you can become a authorized user on a trusted person's account that you know um, you you want to make sure that their credit is good as well. So get on get be an authorized user. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're paying your bills on time. And then the next thing that you want to do is just um, you know uh, diversify your portfolio. So have you know different type of credit cards. Um, the longer that you have your credit cards is wonderful. So let's just say you have a credit card right now that you haven't used for years. Do not close that uh, account. Do not do not make the mistake like I did. I had a couple of credit cards that I wasn't using. I had them for about six or seven um, years, which is good. That that means that looks good on your credit. That means you have upholded a credit. A car for that long but I didn't know at the time so I canceled out my uh, and closed my credit credit uh, cards and I shouldn't have done that because it was reflecting good on my credit so I repeat do not close any cars that you're not using especially if they don't have any balance and you just let them sit there let them do that so I'm not gonna make this video long at all these are just some of the things that I continue to do over the year to build my credit card uh, credit core, uh, credit card score from a 500 to a 740. And best believe before three months is out that I'm going to be headed to 800. So it's very important to have credit. It's very important to have good credit. Do not sleep on this. If your credit card score is not up, please contact me. So thank you very, very much for everybody that tuned in and got these nuggets. Um, if you wouldn't mind, share this video because I know there's somebody out there in the cyber world that can use, really use these tips and really need the help. So peace, love, and prosperity. Thank you for stopping by to invest into yourself because that's what you just did. I am Isis Love. Stay tuned for the latest and the greatest financial tips.